Hey folks, November is National Stop Bullying Month. Uh, please, I don't understand it, why people bully people into doing things and hurting their feelings. And I'm really glad that I was never one of those kind of kids that people would talk about. Actually, I was one of those kids they would talk about in a good way. Or I would say, it didn't, it didn't bother me. Because I've never really had, uh, I never really cared about what other people thought. And I still now at 44, I still don't care what other people think. Because to me, it's just me, be, me being myself. Like when I was in um, junior high school, I was in with the crowd, as I would call it. I'd, you know, make sure I have my hairstyle like everybody else. I'd wear clothes like everybody else. And um, we didn't have a lot of money. But what I did do was I would make these little pins. And I would paint them. And people were like, oh, those are nice. So I know that I wasn't being bullied. And now to this day, you know, you hear people... Uh, trying to kill herself because someone is harassing them. I would not be going out doing something for them, doing something for yourself, staying positive and doing other things. Maybe even get your have your kids to get out of that school if you're having problems at that particular school. Or, you know, start being around some people that you know that um, will, will protect you. But I don't understand why people bully folks. That's just, I guess, a mental state of mind. Whereas you feel that you rule the world. And uh, a lot of people don't rule the world. Even the president doesn't rule the world. He'll make suggestions and make things possible for us to accomplish. But you won't be ruled by anyone but yourself. So on that note, please stop bullying people. And think about, you know being a, a, a more a, a nicer person to the world because as they say karma comes back on you in other words if you've done something bad to someone and then you find out five years ten years twenty years after you done made it to the top and something finally falls down it's probably because of something you did in your past to make it feel like uh, well let's see this is what happened and I'll give you a, a, a prime example. Um, being bullied. Let's see. When I was in high school, at my prom, me and my cousin, we went around spraying people with a fire extinguisher. Come to find out, I was sprayed on my job by a fire extinguisher. And I'm sitting here thinking, wow. Karma comes back on you. And I never thought about it like that, but I see it's definitely real. So you just have to be careful of what you do and what you say to people. Because you never want that to happen to you. And believe me, that stuff does not taste good. It tastes like eating chalk. So, please, do yourself a favor and, us, and, and me a favor. Stop bullying people. Just live your life. And start. You don't have to be nice all the time, but just stop being to the point where you're making people feel like they have nothing to live for in this world. Because I'm sure they can always be somebody's mother or father or stepfather or god, godmother, god sister, god brother, anything like that. 